All right, guys, I'm here with another tip on the second gen Dodge Cummins trucks. I do believe this works on the first gen Cummins. Now, this is me reiterating that something that I did find on YouTube that another creator already created, but I just thought I would share it with you. If you do anything on these power steering systems that involves taking the fluid out, all like a mass amount of the fluid out, AE replacing the pump is a, a common thing, uh, doing anything like that, you have to bleed these power steering pumps. Now, some of you might be like me where you replace it and you go to start it and you know, you might bump the key a couple of times, you go to start it and you try and turn the wheel and nothing. You don't hear the pump whine, nothing. You're like, what the fuck? Did I misdiagnose this? What did I do? So YouTube <laughs> told me that I should be bleeding this. So I'm going to show you guys how to bleed this system as well. So the first thing you're going to do is jack it up so the wheels are off the ground. That's the first thing you're going to do. Front wheels only. Then you're going to come over here and take this out so it's just sitting there. You can let it sit there to kind of stop some of the fluid, but let it sit there. Obviously, you need to top off the power steering fluid before doing this or completely fill it before doing this. And then you're going to start this truck. And you're just going to do this. Now, when I first started this, when I first started doing this today, I could not hear that engine load at all, right? I couldn't hear the whine of the pump at all. And in about five cycles of doing this, then I started hearing, you can hear it, Let's see if you can hear it. Hear that? Okay, when I first started doing this test today, I couldn't hear that. So if you can't hear that when you start doing this, just keep doing this, just keep going, okay? I promise. Also, while you're doing this, I just stopped and I checked the fluid level and I topped it off a little bit. While you're doing this, because it can take a while, just stop and make sure that you check the fluid level every now and then. Make sure that it's not running out of fluid because the last thing you want is to cavitate your brand new pump. 